winning 38 games is different from winning six or seven. Of course, City looking to make it four out of the last of five. Yeah, what are you laughing at? I'm just laughing at because my maths don't go up here. If it's easier to win the Champions League than the Premier League, why doesn't he win the Champions League then? Uh, I, I don't get it. But uh, that's another thing. Uh, although I, he has a point. <laughs> he has a point, though. I understand what he's saying, but it's just funny again that he's coming from Pep Guardiola. But uh, it's going to be an unbelievable day tomorrow, and I guess Pep Guardiola, like everybody else, will be very, very nervous tonight. Is he right? Some we discussed on yesterday's show, a couple of uh, ex-Man United players. Right. Uh, Evra and uh, Berbatov suggesting that Guardiola cannot handle and manage any players with personality and ego and big players. And yeah. uh, I just think that's absolute nonsense. He's done it brilliantly. Yeah, yeah. The, the Champions League is a, is a, a, has been a bugbear for, for, for his time at Man City and his time at, at uh, Bayern Munich. And there's a lot of people that continue to throw that mud uh, at Guardiola. And, and I suppose until he, he does it outside... At Barca, that will continue. Uh, however, you know, you look at the players that he's worked with, he's managed, that he's kept happy, and that's the big part of it as well. He's not only managing these big clubs, but to keep, and I suppose Jurgen Klopp's in the same scenario, to keep all these players who are effectively starting players who are not starting, if that makes sense. You know, Lexi Gundogan, sometimes Mares, sometimes Sterling, sometimes Foden, Gabriel Jesus, all these players to keep them happy and in a frame of mind that when you do need them and you do rotate, they come in and their attitude is fantastic, I think speaks volume to, to his management. I think it would be nonsense and, and was nonsense to suggest that he can't cope with anybody with a personality as if Vincent Company, Kevin De Bruyne, uh, et al. don't have personalities. I expect them to win tomorrow. I don't think it will be simplistic because I think Villa will put up a real fight and not because Steven Gerrard is an ex-Liverpool player because you always want to finish the season strongly. And I think for those reasons, Liverpool are going to have to put a really strong team out against Wolves. And we know they've got yep. this Champions League final. We know they've got players carrying niggles. We know they've got players that have played a lot of games and are fatigued. They've been in every competition. But I don't think they can... It's going to be a difficult choice for Jurgen Klopp because he wants to think about the week after but he wants to think about if there's a potential slip-up at the Etihad, but then you've got all these injuries. So that's going to be a real difficult team for him. For, for Guardiola, it's simple. He picks his best 11 and they go for it. Is the Premier League harder to win the Champions League? Well, I think if you were to ask Liverpool, they'd say yes. Liverpool have had success uh, in recent years in the Champions League. They've had success recently in the Champions League, uh, winning it and losing it, but getting there. But I've only been over the line once in the Premier League recently. So I, it's a difficult one. I mean, it's a bit like we talk, we've seen Man City yeah. lose at Wembley to Wigan in the FA Cup. Cup competitions sometimes throw up serious anomalies. Generally, 38 games or whatever it is in whatever league you follow is a true guide to who is the best team. I think it's a 50-50 call to say what is more difficult. Uh, Gav, this is right up your street. You've said this for many years now, that the Champions League is a lottery. Yeah, let me make this very, very simple, right? Um, if you're the best team in the league, it's easier to win a league than it is to win a Champions League for the reasons that Craig said, that because there's so many individual games where you can slip up and then you go out because it's a knockout competition. If you have a, a, a horrendous game or even a horrendous month in the Premier League and you're the best team, um, you can still win it. Um, so if you're, you know, if you're a bad team, then it's hard to win both, but then it's easier to win, uh, to win the Champions League. But if you're you know, the best team in your league, it's certainly easier to win, uh, to win the Premier League uh, than it is to win, to win the Champions League. I don't think there's any argument there because over 38 games the best or second best team generally win it. Uh, Jan, you've been back in Liverpool right from the start. You changed your mind yet? Yeah. No, I haven't. Uh, I, uh, I've thought this through, as, as I do you, Dan. I've had, I'm going into uh, my temple of thoughts. Uh, <laughs> oh, and no one wants to go in that I, temple. It's very, very <laughs> empty, very spacious. I, uh, I, I, I am a man of uh, things that happen for a reason. 
that Steven Gerrard will go back there, yes, for different reasons. Not that Steven Gerrard is so desperate for Liverpool to win the league, as I guess he is as well. But it's just like football. Uh, they, they write their own rules. Uh, I can see the headlines. I can see the history. We will think back of that Sunday when Steven Gerrard gave Liverpool the Premier League title. Just watch tomorrow. You'll see. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.